Hi guys, it's Anders back with another Logic tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of ways to transpose and edit your MIDI nice and quickly to create new sounds. So you can quickly layer sounds by just copy pasting and transposing very quickly to get a bigger, richer sound inside Logic. Let's get into that. Say my name aloud. Okay guys, so here we are in Logic and we're going to show you three nice ways to transpose audio so you can quickly make new lines and sounds from some MIDI you've already got. If these videos are helpful for you, please bang a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and if you've got anything you want to see, throw it in the comments down below. Okay, so this is an early stage pro project of the track The Music. May or may not be out at this point, not sure, waiting on vocalists, we shall see. Now. What we've done here is just highlighted this sax part, okay? And we've got some lovely underruns there, but we will live with that. Now, what's good about that is if I like exactly those notes and I want to copy them, I can. I've got that amazing option. So if we just introduce something from Logic here, so if we perhaps hit the browser, and it freezes up for a bit and I don't know I want to have some strings in there and we're going to take pop strings because why not beautiful so now we see just below sax we've now got pop strings if I was to alt drag the audio down I'm going to have exactly the same thing below and that's kind of nice but what is more useful in the inspector, I can grab the transpose here and I can put that back to zero because I've already knocked it down an octave from the original. And now that's going to be playing an octave above the sax. And that then will harmonize quite nicely. However, there's another way I can do that. And if we were in editing MIDI, for example, we can grab all this MIDI information. We can go into functions, MIDI transform. And we've got transposition up here and we could then perhaps if we like move that back down the 12. And it's now back where it originally was. And maybe we wanted to do that because we like some of the lower notes. And we actually just want these higher notes to be transposed up. But instead of going functions, transpose and moving just those notes up, we can do shift, alt and up. And that's going to put those notes up an octave for us. Now we've got a nice split of the two. So if we play it back again now. And perhaps in this last part, we actually wanted to drop these really down. We can again do shift alt and just drop those down two octaves and completely change the feel of it. You know, to put that in perspective, we've gone from this into something completely different in less than, what, a minute or so? So if we now play that, we've got two melodies And while that might not be the best sounding thing in the world, it accentuates very nicely with the sax because it's using all the same notes, so it builds up some octave sounds. And that's really great to be able to do that so quickly just using those couple of transposition options that we have available to us in the inspector and the shortcut and piano roll.
Guys, I hope that video was helpful for you with that super quick tip. I will see you tomorrow on the next video. Thank you for liking and subscribing.